Numero is a wonderful mental maths game for children of all ages. It will improve skills in problem solving and understanding numeracy concepts. There is no better way to stimulate your mind and improve mental computation than playing a game of Numero. Numero is ideal for all age groups and is enjoyed by all children, even if maths is not their favourite subject. Frank Drysdale, my father, a former teacher and a retired Minister of Religion, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 1989. His results were given to him along with the advice to go home, get his affairs in order and wait to die. Not good advice for anyone, but certainly not for someone who had been as active and motivated as Dad had been all his life. His response, along with our supportive family, was to do anything he could to delay this disease. Through playing games regularly with his children and grandchildren, Dad hit upon an idea for a game that he felt they would all enjoy. This was the birth of Numero. What followed was a process of fine-tuning, writing of rules and explanations, printing and marketing of the game. After an initial print run and a successful introduction into Western Australian schools, Numero was gifted to Alzheimer's Australia WA. Royalties from all Numero products go to the Drysdale Family Charitable Trust, which uses this money to further Alzheimer's research and the development of programs to support sufferers and carers throughout Australia and other countries around the world. Spirit of the game. The creator of Numero, Frank Drysdale, my father, always believed that Numero should be played not just competitively, but also in a good spirit. He wanted students to play with integrity, always showing honesty, good manners, and sportsmanship, along with being gracious, whether in victory or defeat. These wishes have led to the unwritten rule of Numero. That is, on winning or stealing a bill created by their opponent, you are expected to always say thank you, in recognition of the opponent's hard work. Likewise, that opponent should respond in a sportsman-like fashion. Sometimes, like when I'm playing with my son at home, his response might be, you're not welcome, Mum. However, in a classroom situation, your students would be expected to respond with words like, you're welcome, well done, or no worries. In this way, we hope that Numero will continue to be played in the spirit with which it was created. Oh, golden rules. There are only three rules in Numero, known as the golden rules and these cannot be broken. Rule one, each turn play only one number card from your hand. That will be a take, a build or a discard. Rule two, when you build you must have the answer in your hand, in a single card. Rule three, a wild card played from your hand gives you an extra turn. Provided your move is mathematically correct and you have not broken any of these three golden rules, then your move will be legal within the game of Numero.
numero levels. Numero is adaptable to all ability levels, from early years education through to secondary school students. Numero is also used with adults to improve and extend brain stimulation. Young students may start with only matching of cards. Moving on to simple addition and subtraction equations. Older students will quickly progress through the higher levels of multiplication, division, fractions and mixed numerals, leading them on to the use of indices, including squared and cubed, square root and cube root. Even when having successfully achieved these levels, numero can be extended yet again to work at a scoring level. This includes more strategies to quickly extend gifted students. Demonstration of basic level numero. If you are teaching a child the basic level of numero, all they will do is do matching. So they will match a number card with another number card. So in this scenario, we have five number cards in the hand and I have two cards in the centre as per the beginning of any game. Here we would match 10 on the 10. And we say 10 takes 10, removing them and putting them in our winning pile. We then pick up after our turn to return our cards to five. You will of course have to reorder your hand to make sure that your cards remain in order from lowest to highest. If it was my turn again now, we are playing just examples here, not a traditional game. I would now have to discard because I cannot match the eight. Always look to see if you have a pair in your hand. Here we have a pair of threes. So the correct discard would be to discard a three knowing that on your next turn you might be able to match that card. And of course we pick up after our turn to return our cards to five. Again, reordering our hand from lowest to highest. Now if it was my turn again here, obviously because I have discarded one of my pair, I can now match that and say three takes three and put that in my winning pile. Then I pick up again to restore my cards to five reordering my hand as I go. If it was my turn now, I cannot match the eight. Do not have a pair in my hand. So if you do not have a pair, you throw out your lowest card. On this occasion, that would be the five. Again, picking up to restore your cards to five. Level one and two combined demonstration. When students are ready for using subtraction in their packs, we then use the combination of addition and subtraction. On this occasion, we always should look at trying to join the cards in the centre. So we would add these together. 13 plus 7, and if in doubt, if a child is not sure, they may use the dots to continue their counting, taking the largest number of 13 and then pointing to the other cards. So we go 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 13 plus 7 is 20. We have not yet used a card. So we use the subtract 5. 20 subtract 5 is 15. 15 subtract 4 because we have another turn having played a wild card. 15 subtract 4 is 11. We still have another turn because another wild card has been played. Now you may take your 11 from your hand, which is your answer, and take those five cards that equal 11 into your winning part. Level three numero demonstration. This level includes subtraction, multiplication and division wildcards. You can still, of course, do addition. There are always more than one option available to you. On this occasion, we have five cards in our hand and two in the centre. The easy move that would be used by early education students would be a simple match of six takes six. Two cards in your winning pile. There is, of course, a better move. And that move would be to play a wild card from your hand. Six times two is 12. Having played that wild card, we get an extra turn and you can use your 12 from your hand to take. That would give you a three card take into your winning pile. 
Once again, there is yet a better move. On this occasion, the best move would be as follows. Six times two, using the wild card from the hand, giving another turn. 12 times three is 36. Again, another wild card played from your hand gives another turn. Sitting on 36, we can play another wild card. 36 divided by four is nine. Whilst you still get another turn, there is nothing stopping you from using any remaining cards in the centre. So with the total at nine, you can still then add the other card in the centre, which would be a subtract three. Nine subtract three is six. Having not yet used your extra turn, you can now take that move with your six from your hand to win six cards into your winning pile.